On this episode of Inquirer Rochelle, we hear a story of determination and family. Rochelle talks with Mrs. Savi Maharaj about her experience moving her and her family to America from Trinidad and much more. It was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. Inquirer Rochelle. Provoke. Inspire. Inform. Educate. Inquire Rochelle. So up next, our next interview is from an amazing woman that I've known since I was a little girl who came to this country and through sheer determination is where she is at today. And I would like to introduce Ms. Savi Maharaj. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about you. At what age did you come to the United States? I was 31 years of age. 31. Okay. Okay. And then when you came, who came with you? I came all by myself. I stayed with a friend until I was able to move on on my own. So when you came by yourself, did you have any kids, any children? That And, and where, I'm sorry, I should ask you first, where did you migrate from? Trinidad. I'm Trinidad. Okay. And then did you leave any kids? When you came here at the age of 31, did you have any children that you left behind yes, for I a did. short period of time, I'm sure? Yes, I did. I had a daughter who was eight years of age. And then how did you feel leaving her at that point? It was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. How long were you separated from your daughter? Say so you came here at 31, and at when were you able to bring her to this country? Six years later. Oh, wow. So she was what at that point? She was 14? Yes, she was. 14 years old. Now, from growing up in Trinidad, for her, coming to the United States at 14 years of age, what was different? What was the difference in you having your daughter grow up here to when you were growing up? Well, it was really a challenge for both of us. She was not used to the environment And that made it difficult for me. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have much of a choice because there weren't much opportunities back home. And I had determined to make something out of myself and to give her a better future. Good for you. Now, what, with all this determination, because I know you're a very strong and determined woman, where are you now? I would say I'm in a pretty much better place right now. Mm I was able to put her through college. She Congratulations. I've been to one of the best college, which is St. John's University. She got a scholarship for soccer. Oh, wow. Wow. At this point, she really makes me proud, and I feel really well of her achievement. She is an academic advisor at a private college in Manhattan, as well as a part-time professor that was my main goal. Oh, wow. Now, what about yourself? I, oh, your daughter has accomplished all these amazing things. What have you done? You made sure that she set up for life. What have you done to make sure that you have accomplished and going after whatever dreams that you've had since you were young? Well, I was able to accomplish a couple things. I purchased a house in Brooklyn. Congratulations. That's a great accomplishment. I also recently got enrolled in college. Wow. I forget to 
mention one thing. I also gave birth to another baby in 2004. I also, as I mentioned, is enrolled in college. I'm doing a degree in FBM, which is Fashion Business Management at Fashion Institute of Technology. This just says, at any age, you can pursue your dream. At any age, you can pursue your dream. I must say that I, I believe I'm doing pretty well because I'm on the dean's list as well. <laughs> Let's mention that. She is on the dean's list. <laughs> Now, I, I, I'm curious because you are at FIT. You're a little bit older. How is it in classes with students that are much younger than you are? I look at it as not a challenge but an opportunity the kids I would say kids they are old enough to be my kids right <laughs> and truly it's a wonderful feeling because I sort of look to them for assistance and help in what is the modern world what we have a, a world of technology today and the response I get is amazing they're extremely they, helpful they help me to move forward and I also think I am contributing to their well-being as well because they they have learned a lot from me things that they have never heard about in the past and when I used to go to school it's entirely different completely different so in moving forward I I'm going to bring something up that has nothing to do with this conversation she told me a Barack Obama story yesterday and I feel like you guys need to hear it But what is your ultimate goal? You're going to go back to school. I know that you mentioned that you're possibly thinking about writing a book. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, two years ago, it was the earliest night, I was looking at the ball drop on 42nd Street. And there I was with my family. We all were having a good time, not to eat not to drink and it reminded me of my childhood and days before the old years we always get news about what is taking place in the world and I saw the things that happen around us like famine, children that have been abused, children don't have food, clothing, nowhere to live and it really touched me and it inspired me to write your book to write my book to start writing your book yes. all right so in Savi's story i'm getting i'm taking away even though you come here from a different country you still have opportunities that you can push through push forward and succeed even yes, though there are some difficulties along the way leaving your children behind which a lot of caribbean families do they move to america in the hopes of getting a better life and they leave their families behind but then you have opportunities to reunite and to push forward together and do something also at any age you can pursue your dream you can be 95 and go back to school you can be 110 i mean if you live that long i don't know if i want to live that long but if you live that long you can go back and do something not necessarily school if you want to write a book if you want to do a coloring book if you want to start an organization something that you can do now a little bit off topic can you just share with us your great obama story you told me i just thought this was a good way to start it cuz she said something to me yesterday that i was just like well maybe one day in the future we can get this done yeah at the time it was he had just started campaigning barack obama she talked about before he was president when he just started on the campaigning. trailblazing and the campaign trail at the time i was a little unfortunate in circumstances such as i was not able to get a proper job mm-hmm. so i had to work underpaid and long hours through a cleaning company at that time and i was sent with a group of individuals to we had to prepare for the event and when the meeting was over he came into the kitchen 
to congratulate the team who had prepared the delicacies. He was humble even then. And there I was doing the dishes. And he stepped into the kitchen and he came right up to me and he took the glass straight out of my hand. He said, "How can I help you?" And then he asked me, "Where were you from?" He was such a gracious person even before he was president. That's what this story tells me. I like- <laughs> Yes, he was. Indeed he was. And I said to him, "Remember me when you become president." <laughs> maybe he'll see this one day. I'm just throwing that in the atmosphere and maybe maybe we can shake hands with him. Maybe on Martha's Vineyard. Who knows? <laughs> Savi, thank you so much for being on my show today. I truly truly appreciate it. Guys, give it up for Savi. You're welcome. singing the a cappella version of Opportunity from the movie Annie. Give it up for Corinne. Hello, my name is Corinne, like Rachel said. And today I'll be singing Opportunity by Annie from the movie. Under the glow of a very bright light I turn my face towards the warm night sky And I am not afraid of a thousand eyes When they're above 500 smiles Oh, I used to think What wouldn't I give For a moment like this, this moment is give, oh. So now look at me and this opportunity, it's standing right in front of me. One thing I know, it's only part of grand door. I'm putting on my best show. Born in the spotlight, I'm starting my life. Big dreams are coming real tonight. So now look at me and this opportunity. You're witnessing my moment, you see. <laughs> <laughs> 